What's going on guys? Back at it again with a brand new series here on the channel. So this one is on Pixel Junk Raiders, a game that ever since it got announced, which was just recently, uh, by the way, I have been kind of hyped for. I saw the trailer, it looked awesome. I couldn't help myself but to get hype for this game. Uh, and you know, I never heard of any of these games or, or anything like that. And it come to find out it was actually a part of a bigger franchise. Uh, that I never realized it was, but I guess those are like different types of games like tower defense and stuff like that. I don't know, maybe you guys can shed a little bit more light on the franchise or the IP down below in the comments section. I'm very hyped for this game though. It looked super cool, definitely up my alley. I can't wait to jump into this guys. So if you are excited for this Let's Play, do me a huge, huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. But with that being said, really quick before I jump into it, I am playing this on Stadia. Before I forget, uh, that definitely needed to be said. So let's go ahead. Enough yapping for me. Let's jump right into this. Planet Tom Tom, near the frontier of United Planets Space. Pretty cool intro, not gonna lie. Hey, kiddo. You there? Yep, I'm right here. Oh, there you are. Just got up from hypersleep, it looks like. Well, I'm glad you're here at last. Thank you. I'll try to fill you in as best I can on the crazy goings on. Sounds it seems good. The top brass over United Planets are calling in us mercenaries to do their dirty work. About a month ago, they got a distress call from the planet Tantal out in frontier space. Very nice. It seems a solar uh -huh. system sized quantum anomaly has engulfed the home planet of the Tantalian civilization. Tantalian? That sounds. That sounds goofy. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds funny. And is somehow harvesting their life energy. They want out. No one really knows what's going on, so. Yep. You got it. They've called us in to save the day. Will do. So are we the response team? They must be desperate, huh? <clears throat> I suppose so. Still, the perks are good and the job seems right up our alley. And there's also lots of ancient Tantalian loot to be, um, rescued. So we... Alright, we're definitely the response team. Also, we're gatherers. In a sense. So basically, we go in and teleport out any survivors we find. Oh, and don't forget to tread carefully. The anomaly is sending in some weird looking alien troops, and they are tough sons of bitches. Okay, so our enemies are the anom 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 I can't pronounce that word right now. I don't know what's going on right now. My brain is going absolutely insane. Anomaly. There we go. The anomaly is the enemy of us. While we're trying to simultaneously save the Tom Tom Tallians, or what you, this is gonna be so hard for me to wrap my mind around. All right, that's the thing about going into a brand new world. I guess it, you have to learn all the the words, right? But our job is never easy, is it, kid? I suppose it's not. Your avatar system. It's a Cyrix 1200, right? 
Yes. That should be a perfect match for those goons. So, this is a machine? Well, apart from not being able to use projectile weapons. I never did sort out that glitch, huh? Wait, so there's no weapons? I thought there was. Well, I'm gonna leave you to it and get to hunting me down some treasure for myself. Maybe I'll see you down there. Ciao. Ciao. Alright, so... There is apparently no projectile weapon. Well, it didn't say weapons. It said projectile. So I'm there. I'm sure there's ways to combat the anomalies, right? So it says locking onto coordinates within the anomaly. Please wait. 90, 100 percent. All right. Mission start. Rescue all survivors. Survivors. So this is level based? We need to calibrate your avatar. Oh, this looks you gorgeous. Know the drill, kid. Just do what the computer tells you to do. Oh my god, this game is gorgeous. Definitely up my alley. Okay, so press L2 to attack with your left hand. Damn aliens. Can you kill that critter so we can sure. calibrating? Oh! Oh my god, dude, this is good. I like it. Oh, dude. Come on, buddy. You guys want some? Oh, cool. Damn, aliens. Can you kill that critter? Oh, I'm, I'm on it. What's up, buddy? That's all you guys got? Shoot. Oh. Ha ha. Ha ha. Uh-huh, you thought you could get me. Where'd you go? So what are these things? Okay, press and hold L1 to guard. Okay, very nice. So it stays locked to one direction, I noticed. Uh, press and hold L1 to guard and press... Oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. So... Use the right on the D-pad to access the weapon quick menu and equip the weapon. Yeah, see, okay, I thought I, th I thought there was something. Uh. Oh, cool! I am become Luke Skywalker. Oh my God, this is so cool. Uh, press L3 to dodge run or to toggle run. What am I talking about? Ah, oh, yeah, this is gonna be a fun game for sure. What's up here? Can I get this? To jump? Wow, dude, that was cool. All avatar systems are go. The HUD just finished patching in and should be coming online now. So, did I just get a new weapon? Kid, check out your avatar's option menu for an overview of the on-screen displays. Okay. Cool. So we got a light sword. <laughs> I like how it just appears in your hand. That's funny. So wait, where are the survivors? Also, what's over here? Dude, there's so much to explore. Oh, you guys want some of this? Oh, dude. Why have I not had... Oh, I'm gonna love this game. I'm going to really enjoy this game. Let's explore a little. I really desperately want to explore. What's up, bro? That's all you got? You little freak? I don't even know what you guys are. Well, hey, Ken, anomalies, but besides that. All hiding out somewhere around here. Green marks on the radar should lead you right to them. Oh, wait, there's survivors. Hello, knock, knock. Uh, is this nothing? Maybe they're on the other side. Oh, hello. Dude, this definitely reminds me of Star Wars. So is he safe? Oh, there you go. Rescue. Tantalian survivor. Rescue, yes, sir. You, you have been released. Kid? Let's go rescue us some Tantalian survivors. Sick. Super sick. Wait, there's... There's more here. 
He's got to be upstairs, right? So how do I go upstairs? Because I'm certain he's up there somewhere. Yo, I see him. Oh, right there? Can I climb this? Oh, wait, how do I do the jump again? No, not that. Uh, Dude, I already forgot to do the... the, the oh, yeah, there we go. This one. Oh, come on. Our charge. Let's go. Oh, come on. I gotta get used to this. Okay, I have to wait till it beeps. Dude, oh my god. This game is definitely up my alley. What's up, broski? Yay! You are being rescued, Tantalian survivor. You have been set free. Area clear, all survivors rescued. So I have three more to go. Oh, the... Oh, that's imprisoning them. So that means the one on the far right over there Bravo, kiddo. is another location I need to go to. That artifact was sucking their life force dry, and without them, it collapsed. Go access the exposed core. Maybe there's some residue energy. Will do. But first, I don't know what these things are for, but I want them. Also, I did see some more up here. Oh, it was just one. Dude, there's so much to explore. It's insane. All right, for now, let's go ahead and actually go this or rescue these guys over here. So we got three more to go. It doesn't look like there's any more of those floating squares that's harvesting their life force. So I'm almost certain this is the last area. Hey, where'd you go? Okay. He surprised me a little. Mainly because I just couldn't see him. Kid, I see you just found a quantum imprint. Those things are crazy, man. Try using it from your avatar's quick menu. Eh, not right now. Use uh, R1 to access the imprint quick menu. Oh. So that's what that is. Okay. I accidentally used it. Imprints can provide a uh, unique strategic advantage. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> Attack four. So this thing, this thing is pretty weak then, right? I mean, it doesn't surprise. Oh look, there's a survivor right here. Look, kid, that's me. Oh, that's him. <laughs> it's a quantum echo of what I did earlier. It seems that when you use quantum imprints, some kind of residue is left behind. And the cool thing is, if you add some axontium, you could reinvoke the imprint. Your avatar is also equipped with a feature that lets you share the current stage and imprints with a fellow mercenary. And vice versa. That saved my ass many times, I can tell you. Alright. I'm not really sure what that means. Oh, get out of here. Let's go. No, I gotta fly. Come on. Oh. Okay, should be able to do it now. Deuces. Oh, God. I really went up high, didn't I? Hey, what's up? Glad you enjoy your death. All right, homeboy. It says weapon is damaged. Oh, that's what that 9% is. Do I have another weapon? Okay, so yes, I do. I'm, I guess I'll wait till this is done. Okay. Yeah, we'll wait till this is destroyed and then we'll swap over to another weapon. Cool. Saved a survivor. Where are we? Oh, there's one right there. I'm coming for you, buddy. You will be safe, I promise you. Tantalian survivor is officially rescued. Oh, dude, they got backup. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold off on- Oh, there goes the last one. Ah! Haha, -ha, nice try. Haha! -ha. Oh, did he hit me? I hope not. Well, this is the last guy right here. So, this should be mission accomplished. Awesome. Area clear. All survivors rescued. Destruction of the cube. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to see it explode. Access core? kiddo. They've set up an exit portal to get you out of there. Not yet. Hold on. spot it by looking for a pillar of light or following the mark on your radar. 
I don't know what that means. But we'll go do that right now. I just want to do this imprint thing. Uh, mine wasn't printed. Can I, can I use these? No? Oh, my weapon destroy is destroyed, huh? Alright, let's equip the new one. Return to ship? I kind of want to access the core, though. Whatever that means. I should be able to go up through here, right? Access core. Oh, so that's what it does. It just heals me? So then I guess... I guess we go back to the ship. Oh, no, wait. What's on the far side? Can I... Can I... All right, there we go. That's the menu. So what is this right here? Artifact core. Wait a minute. Did I forget to get the core on the other one? I think I did. Which is kind of unfortunate if you ask me, but... I hope there's a way to go back to the ship in this area over here. Because then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to run all the way back otherwise. Yeah, dude, I totally forgot about the core. Well, it's not like I forgot. I just didn't know about the core. So that's... That's all me, I suppose. Dude, this game looks gorgeous, dude. Kind of reminds me of Mars. Are we on Mars? I don't know. Give me your core. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to run all the way back. Dude, look at that. It even gives me a gigantic light to look up to. Like, hey, look. Check it out. This is where you go. Uh, you. Yeah, dude, I'm going to have so much fun in this game. I can definitely already tell. This is just the tutorial section, too. So, just so you guys know, uh, I got to say this right now. This video, the first video, is going to go out on the day the game releases. Obviously, if you guys are watching it, you guys know this. However, the next uh, part two and three, etc., however long it takes to complete this game, is going to go into my normal rotation of games. So... Part 2 won't be out for another week or so, so that's just so that you guys know and to expect. So, let's go back to the ship. Victory! First mission! Nice. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Performance evaluation. Well, Operating results. Take a look at your hall. But what is that? Trade in the stuff you find for credits on your contract. Receive. Get enough credits. Oh, cool. Go up in rank. Oh, gotta get out of here. No, click X. There you go. All right, time to take a look at your hall. Uh, you can trade in the stuff you find for credits on your con uh, contract. Get enough credits and you go up in rank. So I went up in rank. Cool. So total 113. That's good, right? I'm guessing at this point. Hashling. Yeah, I got I got a rank up. Apprentice. Nice. Apprentice 2. Nice going, kiddo. But don't get ahead of yourself. Remember to download a new software patch for your avatar. Those aliens aren't getting any easier. Good to know. Software this patches. Is where you can upgrade the software for your avatar. Each patch unlocks some cool abilities, and you're allowed one download every time you go up a rank. Good to know. So you're allowed one download. It's, it, sounds, it sounds almost backwards because you're upgrading yourself, but you're downloading something. So I don't know, it just counts kind of weird, but I, I think I understand it. My favorite is the guard break patch. It lets you take out pesky aliens even if they're blocking. Trust me, kid. You'll love it. Yeah, I think I would love it, actually, too. So, radar range patch increases the range of radar by 1.5. That could definitely come in handy. Allows the avatar to equip a weapon in their left hand. Does that mean... Does that mean I could dual wield? I don't know. This one's got me extremely, extremely... And I really do mean extremely curious. Uh, allows the avatar to use heavy two-handed hammers. Okay. 
lootable corpse patch. Upon death, your avatar's corpse will remain and can be looted for items, weapons, and axiom. Only the most recent corpse of an avatar can be looted. This could definitely come in handy. Increases HP capacity. This is definitely something we're gonna need in the long run. Okay, so increase SP. I'm, I'm assuming this is my endurance basically. So like the high jump and all that stuff. That's definitely gonna, so it goes 20, 50, 100. Right? Or it goes up by 20. Yeah, it goes up, cause we're at 30, it goes up to 50. So from 50, after that the next upgrade is gonna go from 50 to 100. And then from 100 to 200 if I'm understanding that correctly. So this one goes up by 20 and then to 100, then 190. Those are some weird numbers to be honest, but all right. Let me see, an attack that hits all enemies in a small radius. Spin attack with B uses the hand with high, highest attack. That sounds fun. Dash attack allows the avatar to use a dash attack uh, with X, uses the hand with the highest attack. Okay. Allows the avatar to perform aerial attacks and mid, dude there's so much. This is gonna be so much fun. Allows avatar to perform uh, aerial attacks in midair. Press L2 or R2. Guard break. This is the one that homeboy was talking about. It says, allows the avatar to use a guard break attack. Guard break attack Y uses the hand with the highest attack. Honestly, I seriously think I'm going to go with this. Only because more weapon variety or more uh, attack variety is probably going to help me in the long run. So super jump attack patch. Allows the avatar to attack during the super jump. During super jump, super jump attack press L2 or R2. So I'm assuming once you do the super jump, you press L2 or R2 and he just slams, I'm assuming? That's what it sounds like. Ooh, parry. We're gonna go Dark Souls with it. Allows the avatar to parry. Parry L1 just before an enemy attack hits to knock them back and create an opening. Increases DNA capacity. Uh, increases the number of alien DNA slots that can be used by two. They haven't said anything about DNA yet, right? Increases imprint capacity. Okay, yeah, they've explained imprints. Uh, improves the avatar stat related, uh, stats related to the attack power. Passively uh, increases base attack. Attack charge patch. Able to charge up guard break, AOE, and dash attacks. Hold Y, B, or X. Able to charge up guard break. Why, well, I, need, I need guard break to be able to use this. Plus it requires rank five anyways. Far from that one. So the strength of friendly minions is increased. Wait, we can have companions? Bruh. Bro, that is sick. I think I want this one though. I really do. So let's go ahead and get this. Uh, accessing patch settings, guard break patch, install. Patches can be changed at any time. Oh, so I guess there's there's no super attachment to this. The patch has been applied to the avatar. Confirm. Oh, we got some more XP for that. So, kiddo, your mercenary contract with the United Planets has performance rewards. It's simple. Save more survivors, and you get more rewards. They sometimes dish out some sweet gear, so keep an eye on this list. Okay, good to know. Be careful, though. The rewards are only available during the term of your contract. Once that runs out, they clear the list and dole out a new set. Well, that's if they renew your contract, of course. <laughs> that's a little passive-aggressive, isn't it? Uh, number of survivors rescued, five... Uh, one out of one. So this is DNA. So two choices available for each bonus, and you get to choose whichever one you like. But, kid, every choice counts, as they say. So think carefully. Oh God. Okay. So this this one sounds more binding. So alien DNA, virus, 
Vampire's Blade increases critical probability by 20% and restores 1 HP for each critical hit, but all damage received is increased by 50%. Oh god. Gain the ability to absorb blood and cover it into energy when attacking. Alright, so then there's this one. Stacks up to three times attacks have a 3, 4, and 6% chance to inflict poison, but attack power is reduced by 5, 7, and 8%. Man, so every choice has a positive and a negative. The ability to uh, sec secrete, I can't pronounce that word, alright, so forgive me guys, uh, poison through the skin in order to protect from external dangers. Poison does sound good, however, I don't know if any enemies in the future are gonna have uh, poison resistance or anything like that. I don't know how in-depth this game is in that aspect of gameplay. So I think critical hits is probably going to be my best bet. This is 20%, by the way, and while it does a 20%, every time it does a critical hit, I should say, it restores one uh, health point for each critical hit. But the downside of that is that down, uh, damage received is increased by 50%. I think I'm gonna go with this. I do like... I do like the critical hit chance. 20% is huge. Kid, make sure you splice in that new alien DNA. Your avatar will thank you later. So at least now we know what the DNA is. Okay, so what's next? Gun turret can be used to place a gun turret. The turret automatically attacks nearby enemies. Oh, yo, that's sick, dude. Confused mind? Nah, dude, I'm definitely going for this. Bright hood. So this is, dude, look at all this stuff. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude, this is gonna be sick, bro. Weapon type, for, oh, pal sword. A loop-like weapon designed Amplifies uh, damage by infusing energy at key points. I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna absolutely love this game. I can already, I can already tell. This is like a built-in battle pass, isn't it? Time until contact contract expires. Thirty. We have to, we have a time limit. Uh oh, spaghettios. Well done, kiddo. I see you're on the way to getting yourself promoted. One day you'll be calling all the shots around here. Uh, maybe. Time for the next one. Strap in and let's go. I love the sound of that. Let's go. Hey, kid. I see you're still getting to grips with the Cyrix 1200 system. This screen shows incoming transmissions from within the anomaly. Okay. You can hop on these signals back to their source and rescue more Tantalians. Good to know. Alright, so... So this is the one we just did right now, right? Uh... You... Treasure rating? Wait, there's unique... So these are... These are new... I kind of want to go back in here, dude. So we've gotten two common... Zero uncoming... Uh, uncommon... Zero unique, so I think. All right, so we're gonna go back into this one, and we're gonna test something out, man. I'm gonna do a lot of exploring into this part of the world and see if we can find a unique weapon. Uh, you clear the stage. Are you ready? You want to play it again? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do it again. Double check that you have the DNA and quantum imprints you want for this run loaded up, okay? Yeah, we should be good. Uh, DNA slots. Okay, so right here. Can I... Do I not have anything? Oh, wait. Yes, go back in here. Oh, equip Blue DNA. Kiddo. There you go. Alien DNA is powerful stuff and not to be messed with lightly. Your avatar has some free DNA slots, though, so try plugging one in. 
You can swap them around whenever you're back here in the cockpit. Oh, cool. So it's do it's not binding. Vampire's Blade. Absolutely, freaking lootly, dude. So we should have... Yep. Awesome. So now that this is done, we should be able to transmit. Let's go. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of the the game. It's not very complicated per se. Very simplistic in nature, but you know what? Some of the most fun games out there in general are the simple ones, man. When games try to do too much, it gets overly complicated and frankly speaking, it's not very enjoyable, man. So a lot of these, uh, I guess, simpler to understand games are definitely up my alley, man. They're so much fun, in my opinion. But all right. Hey, kiddo. I snagged you some extra information from my connections. Just a few pointers to get you up to speed. Check them out in the tip section of your journal. We just got another achievement. I'm definitely going to do some exploring, though. God, this game is gorgeous, dude. All right, let's check out these two towers, and then we're going to go over there. I see some enemies on the far side over there. We're definitely going to explore this entire world, man. This first video is going to be me getting used to this game. This game is so much fun, dude. I, I'm telling you. I've said that like three or four times already in this video, but you know what? I don't even care, man. This game is a lot of fun. And there are you go. I said it again. But if I can find a unique man... Oh, there's something over there, too. So, what are these things anyways? I don't even know what these things are. What is this? Status, status enhanced? Oh, cool, dude. Is this permanent? Does it stay on my character? Or... Is it just for this mission? Where was that place? Okay, it's over there. I wonder how big this world... Yo, this place is huge. Because there's more stuff over there. I just keep finding... More and more areas. What is that? Did you guys see that? There's like some stuff going around. Uh-oh. Or you'll lose the connection to your avatar and it will be destroyed. I'm running, I'm running. Okay, so good to know. We found the, the map limit. So that's good to know. I... That's definitely good to know, man. Knowing that there's a... Oh, look. There's a bag over there that I need to snag. But first, let's get all of these things right here. Yeah, dude. We definitely... Now that we know there's a map limit, we know to not cross... Oh, that's not a... Is it a bag? Yes, it is. Axiom. Hey, kid. Looks like you found another of those quantum imprints. I did. Now that I've got my head around them, I swear by them. Use it from your avatar's quick menu. Yes, I know. I don't want to use it yet, though. Okay, what in the world is this thing? Haha, <laughs> 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 nice try. Ah! Get away! What's up? Alright. I think I got hit once, but it is what it is. Hey, kiddo, what is this thing? Careful about letting your SP deplete fully. Your avatar's defenses will drop completely, leaving it very vulnerable to attack. Okay. So what's this? One remaining to activate. Okay, so that's activated, but what does it do? I kinda wanna explore. Oh, there it is. I found the second one already. All right, yeah, let's go. Let's go do that first. Let's definitely do this first. There's another bag over there. There's no enemies on this one. Dude, I think this is a game that's definitely going to pay off with exploring, isn't it? Enemies destroyed. I, I don't know. I don't know what just. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. All right. Well, we'll start here. Go around the circle. By the time we get the last one, we should just grab the bag. I still don't know what these are for. 
Perfect. Give me the Axiom. Guard block. Alright, honestly, I kind of want to go back in this direction. Because I want to discover, at bare minimum, the entire, I guess, border of the map. Alright, so that's good right here. Let's continue running in this direction. Until we get to that point right there. So that, because there's definitely a bag there that I want to grab. Alright, let's go. Dude, we're getting all kinds of stuff. There's no enemies either, though. So, we're, we're golden. Honestly, I think I like this outfit, man. Blue is my favorite color. Orion Blade. Can Weapons have each different strengths and weakness. Check this. Okay, so let's dismiss that. I kind of want to go into the men the items. Yeah, check weapons. So we got the light sword. That's the one I have on right now. Orion Blade. Oh, so a sword made from titanium. It has a keen edge and a good blade. A natural favorite for scavengers. Okay. The Orion Blade, on the other hand. Okay, so this, this one looks so sick, dude. A sword named after a famous hunter. It's deceptive... Uh, deceptive lightness makes it easy to use, but it's not very sharp and traditional folks. So this is plus three, plus one, plus one point five. Yeah, dude. So the the one I'm using now is superior in every way, shape, and form. Okay, so there's this right here. Is there anything here though? Doesn't look like it. We're going to go in that direction here in a second. Oh yeah, dude. We're definitely going to be doing some exploring in this game though. I can tell you that now. Every mission we go on, we're going to do a full analysis of the area. And now that I think about it, too. This is just the first mission. So it's like, I think what we're going to do going forward is for every mission we do, we're gonna do a full analysis of the uh, of the world, I guess. While we go around and actually complete the mission, so every video is going to be one level, basically. Ooh, another light sword. Good to know. Also, this status enhanced to three. Does that make me stronger? I still want to know if this is permanent. I hope it's permanent. I really do hope it's permanent. That would be sick, dude. Because that will make it like pay off like to an extra level, dude. Like an astronomical level. Okay, so I think... I think this is the part where we're basically going towards the mission now. There doesn't seem like there's much to explore in this side either, though. So let's go. Actually, there's something way out there. Should we just kill these guys real quick? I'm debating. Yeah, we're here. We might as well, right? And it's not like we don't ha we don't have to go back to the ship quite just yet. So there's that. So let's take out. Is it this place? Yeah, it is this place. We should surprise them by jumping over this wall. That would be sick. Ready? And... Geronimo! Hey, where do they go? Okay. Well, let's go up. Oh, yeah. Forgot. I have to hold it. And... Aliu! Alright, you're first. Let's go, little fella. I call him little fella, but he's like twice as big as me. What's up, broski? Ready to get out of here? Touch my hands, damn it, so you can leave. <laughs> Deuces. There's still another one. I just don't remember where he was. Was he downstairs? I think he was. Wait a minute. Oh, I just saw something. 
And uh never mind. That was a little weird. See, I didn't know what this was. No, no. Oh, that was a fail. Okay, well, let's jump that way. Uh, oh god. I really flew, didn't I? Dude, look at me, dude. That's four enhancements. Oh, there goes the enemies. Uh, I'll come back for them. Where is he? Is this something I can loot? N nope. Where's this guy at? You know what? I'm gonna unequip this because legit, I don't even need. Okay, I, never mind. I'm just gonna do it anyways. Oh, uh, here he is. What's up, bro? Oh, hurry up! The enemies are coming. Oh, I forgot that happens. Okay, that's great. All right, dude, I'm really strong. Oh, come on, do I really have to go all the way up there? Rude. Okay, let's do this because I definitely Don't need to heal. Chickens just yet. There's another citadel that needs saving. Go find it. All right. Um, we will go save them, but only after we explore. Hold on. So there's nothing over here. It looks like I'm going to run in this direction, but yeah, I'm about to say we're probably going to hit the, the limit. You know, I'm willing to bet there's something on top of that hill. Willing to bet there is. The trick is spotting the cube-like alien artifacts. Yes, I know, I know. I'm sending an image of one now. Get up high somewhere and have a good look around. But if I don't want to take a look around, what if I already know what it looks like? I don't appreciate you bugging me all the time. Okay. Maybe I should prioritize the mission and then and then after that uh, focus on the side stuff is there something over here nope I feel like there could be something around here man no all right let's I want to go up there I want I definitely want to go up top of this little volcano like thing definitely 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 want to do that Except how am I going to... You know what? Ready? Oh, this is not going to be high enough. Oh, it's okay. Alright, ready? Let's go. Hopefully this doesn't screw me over. That was... That was legit perfect. Oh, there's nothing up here. Oh, I really thought there was going to be something up here. Oh, well. All right, let's go back the way we came from. All right, we came over here. Let's continue going around in circles. I feel like we're on Mars. It is a red planet after all. What is this thing? It's a weird looking rock, to be honest. I want to, I want more distance with my double jump. I have a feeling I can't go over there because that's past the wall limit. Let's see. Yeah, I think that dust balls that you see floating around is the game telling me that I can't progress further. Yeah, see? Okay, yeah, I thought so. But I did find this and there's that and that. Yeah, there's still quite a bit we have in note, uh, Explored. Let's go grab all of this. Is this is this the axiom? No. Oh, okay. I thought I missed it. 
All right, this is actually a good place to get a vantage point, so we can't go that way. There's something right there, I think. Plus the little triangles that I think might be Axiom, but I don't know. So let's grab this bag real quick. Give me my Axiom. Alien Mirror. Hey, we got another Orion Blade. I want to go to that place right there, dude. That place looks cool. Give me all the triangles. Uh, <laughs> I'm so bad. All right, I think I got everything, though. So let's go. Oh, wait, wait. Time out. Time out. Sorry. I'm getting, like, distracted by literally everything. Thank you, thank you. Got some more mines. I have a ton of mines. And I, I still haven't even used one. I used one on accident, but it wasn't very successful. Because I kind of just dropped it where there's like nothing around. Alright, I guess this is like a perfect time to go to this spot right here. Because I don't think there's going to be anything over there. This is a pretty cool looking thing right here. <gasps> yes! More power-ups. And some more bags. Give it to me. Electric mine. Incendiary mine. Status enhancements. Level 5, baby. Dude, I'm going to be invincible. I'm going to be absolutely invincible. So yeah, those are the things that I've been to, right? Let's check out the map. Uh, right here. Wait, have I not? I don't think I've been there. Alright, let's go around this way. Just so that we can... Finish. This is where we got the survivors. Yeah, so we can finish this... Uh, like... Unlocking, I guess, the map. And who knows, maybe I'll find another bag. Those bags seem to have a lot of cool loot. So I wanna, wait, what's this? Oh, it's just a rock, isn't it? All right, so this is the end of the map here, right? Yeah, okay. So we're good, let's continue going in this direction. We're gonna clear it, uh, right now the, the border of this, uh, of this map. And then we'll work our way in a little bit. Although there isn't much. We're probably just going to go complete the level. The proper way, of course. I love this game already. I've never played a game in the pixel junk universe, I guess you can say. And I gotta say... If there are anything like this in terms of adventure, even if it's a tower defense type, uh, type of game, I think I'm going to enjoy it, man. I really am. Right, let's look at the map. Where does this go? Yeah, okay. So this completes it. I have like this OCD th thing that I kind of want to complete this. So I'm going to connect the two parts that I've already discovered. I should be getting close. Alright, there it is. And... Voila! Alright, that's completed. Everything should already be... Explored. At bare minimum, the circle around. So let's go ahead and... Towards this mission. <laughs> we have a long way to go, though. Really long way. But you know what? It's okay. I regret nothing. I got a ton of good loot. This light sword, I think, is going to break, though. But to be fair, I think I got, like, a bunch of other ones. I feel like I'm playing, uh... Oblivion? Elder Scrolls Oblivion? Because in that game, you get, like... Oh, dude, look at this. Yeah, you get, like, uh, athletic upgrades or whatever every single time you just jump. <laughs> So I created this environment where literally every time you travel anywhere, you literally have to jump everywhere. 
So we got another incendiary mine. There's another bag over here that I missed. Man, this is really paying off. Because, I don't know, it feels like I... I don't know, maybe it's just me in my own head. But every single time I double jump, it feels like I travel faster? I could be wrong, to be honest. I have not gotten this bag. Look at that, another light sword and a jump pad. I just look at the map and see where we haven't been. We haven't been in this direction. So let's at least go a small distance in this direction. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here. We'll just go up until we can see around or over this little hill right here. Just because you never know. Okay, yeah, there's... There doesn't seem to be nothing else. So where's the next... Po okay, yeah. We completely skipped it. Which is fine. Because now we're going to destroy some ano um, anomaly behind. This game is absolutely gorgeous, dude. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love the environment. I love my avatar too, man. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to change. Unless it's like avatar or clothing that gives you special boosts. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to change my outfit. Only because... Unless I get another one that's blue. That looks better than this one. But I love the color blue. And frankly speaking... I don't think I want to... Oh, that's what that was. Cool. Yeah, I don't think I want to change that, you know? There you go, buddy. You have been set free. Go live your life. Can I destroy these? Okay. So I guess I should have been destroying those from the beginning. Oh, that's the way up. Let me take a look around. I, I haven't looked around, have I? No, but it's okay. Up. Let's go. I'll be taking that. And that. Dude, I should be getting a very significant boost to my score. Alright. Let's release you from your pain and torment that is your slavery. Nice. Nice job, kiddo. Hop on the exit portal to get you out of there. Okay, I will, but first I want this core. I don't I don't think I need it. Alright, so the portal is over here. And we're good. Let's see what kind of scores we get this time. Research. This should be interesting. My score should be pretty significant, uh, comparatively speaking, to the first go around. Take it. Time to see how well you did. Absolutely. Um, obelisk activation bonus number one credits ten. So alien mirror and bronze gem. So that's seventy-seven. Did I get like a hundred something before? Let's see if I... Uh... No, I didn't level up, unfortunately. It's okay, though. Hey, kid. That was great. Those survivors would have been toast without you. Thank you. Your contract ain't up yet, though, so get back in and squash some more of those pesky varmints. Will do. Hey, kid. I have access to some unofficial hacks for the Cyrix 1200. Uh huh. Not entirely legal, if you know what I mean. Um, not sure how comfortable I feel about this, but okay. First up is an extra thruster patch for your avatar. I guess it was originally a glitch that some hacker got working. 
Anyways, I sent you the patch, and it should be installing automatically. Go check the details on your upgrade screen. Wait, so it's giving me... It's illegal, and yet he's giving it to me for free? Thruster patch. The patch has been amplified to the avatar. Or uh, amplified, applied to the avatar. Customization. Oh, costumes. Okay, cool. Yeah, we could definitely customize our avatar. Weapons. We have a ton of weapons. Alien data. Vampire blade. Do we don't have we don't have another one? Okay, good. Whoops. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I needed. Uh nothing is equipped. Uh, okay, well, let's just put a bunch of this stuff here. We'll put a mine. The jump pad seems pretty good. And then for the last one, we'll put an incendiary mine. Okay, so that's good to go. And then upgrades. Allows the avatar to perform a triple jump. Okay, I'm gonna love that. Thank you.